Hello everyone, I am Dr. Purudhavan. Today I want to discuss why non-vegetarian food should be avoided by kidney failure patient. So let's start with the topic and try to understand it. When the kidney begins to deteriorate, the ability of the kidney to filter the blood decreases. Normally, as we all know, ketamine is produced in the body, but also get eliminated which keep its level low. But the question arises, what happens when your kidneys stop working as they should? The answer is, when your kidney starts to work less efficiently, the body is unable to expel waste product such as ketamine, urea and other toxic that accumulates in the body. This accumulation of waste leads to a buildup of toxin in the body. If you consume food that is high in protein, what will happen, the more amount of toxic matter will be released through that food and this will build up in the body. Now we need to understand what is ketamine and how our body produces it. So let me tell you, a person's body produces ketamine in their muscles. When we consume food, our muscles break it down and convert it into energy, which is in turn strengthen our metabolism. During this process, a waste material called creatinine is also produced and it is usually excreted through urine. However, when our kidneys are not functioning properly, the elimination of creatinine is disturbed, resulting in accumulation in the body. Now suppose that if a patient who has a medical condition eats chicken or mutton, so what exactly they are eating? They are eating muscles, which are primarily made up of protein. However, it's important to note that when muscles are broken down, creatinine accumulates in the body. This can cause our creatinine level to increase which can eventually lead to problem related to kidney failure. Another thing that need to be considered here is non-vegetarian dishes are often prepared with a little extra salt to enhance the taste. However, this can result in increased intake of salt which can lead to high blood pressure. Therefore, it is important to be mindful of the amount of salt you consume. If you have a pre-existing condition that requires you to limit your salt intake. Therefore, chicken, mutton and fish should be avoided at all costs. However, there is another question, can egg be eaten in this situation? So I must say it can be conditional. As protein is an essential nutrition for our body and eggs are rich source of protein. Similarly, eggs are considered conditional non-vegetarian food, which means they are given only if the patient body requires them. This is typically the case when the total protein level in the body are below the normal levels, which can cause swelling in the legs and other area due to water retention. If this condition left untreated, the swelling can lead to complication in a kidney failure patient. Therefore, it is important to maintain the total protein level in the body. And in some cases, eggs are given to fulfill this requirement. Now, if the level of creatine in your body is increasing, it is important to take step to lower it. One of the easiest way to reduce creatinine is to improve kidney function, as this can help to remove creatinine from the body. With improved kidney function, more creatinine will be eliminated and, it is, and its concentration in the blood will decrease over time. At last, I would like to conclude that Maintaining a proper diet is important for individuals with kidney failure. The diet should be supportive and help the body in avoiding excess waste. Therefore, kidney failure patient needs to pay close attention to their diet and it is necessary to avoid non-vegetarian food items. As we come to the end of this video, I hope you found the information valuable. I look forward to seeing you in the next video where we will explore even more informative topics. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.